Hello, so hopefully this isn't information overload for you, but um, this is Remy and I'm going to show you kind of what you can do with a bunny. Um, the biggest thing is you got to be firm and you got to be consistent, um, especially with horses because they will get pushy and then it's dangerous, they can step on you or start being dramatic out of nowhere like she, apparently she was doing and spooking or whatever. Um, they just need a leader to trust, so that's really, you have to get her trust in order for her to want to listen to you. So, basically, not everyone trains how I train. A lot of people are rougher with the horses and don't give them a chance. Um, I basically ask, give them a chance, and then I'm going to follow through and be firm. It's very much, um, a relation for you would be force fetching with dogs, so basically you're going to put pressure on the horse until they respond the way you want, and then you're going to take the pressure away and the release or um, taking away a pressure is their reward. So, um, an example with your saddle pad, let's say you lift it up. I wouldn't tire um, if she's backing up and not standing. Just hold on to her to start and then get back to tying. Like I said, I tied her to my post and I was doing this, but um, if she's deciding she's gonna be goofy for whatever reason, I would just start like this, like I have him. Um, if you lift it up and she moves, okay, then we're going to keep lifting it up. You're not going to move. She can be dramatic out there if she's, oh, whatever she's doing. Just keep doing this until she stops moving her feet. So if she stands, then you'll stop. Good. You're fine. And then you keep doing this. Obviously, he's a, he's a deadhead, so he's uh, not going to be scared of this. But if she was, yeah, like I said, just keep doing this. This is just basic breaking a horse 101, but she's just, I think, being dramatic. So... Um, then if you go to flip it on and she moves or whatever and she keeps moving it's just being really dramatic like I said I just keep doing this banging this on her till she stands and then take it away um, if she's like I said not moving whatever or not uh, standing still then I would lunge her and basically you're gonna rub her with the stick first so she knows you're not gonna hit her with it so you'll rub her with it um, on both sides because they have two sides of their brain. So they got to see the same thing on both sides. And then I point, clock, and then I'll start hitting the ground and then hitting them if they don't start moving. And you want to stay even, I stay even with their tail. You just have to be behind their girth because naturally if anything is in front of their girth line, it makes them stop and change direction. If anything is behind them, it pushes them forward. It's like their drive line. And I just walk my own circle, then you don't get as dizzy. <laughs> and then when I want to switch, I'm not lazy. When I want to switch directions, I'm gonna slide my hand up the rope, step towards their butt. And if he kept going, I'd be tug, tug, tugging. Then I'm gonna point. and he has to move over. If he didn't move over, I would hit him with my whip on that shoulder to push him the direction you want him to go. He's being a little lazy, so I gave him a spank. <coughs> and you don't have to make her canter, just making her trot, moving her feet. Oh, step towards his butt, hold my rope up, he stops. So then, <laughs> I would go right to this. Make sure you can flap it on them. Let me turn him. And, um, I would do this again. And what you could start with is, like I said, just lifting it up. If she's moving, then you just keep doing it till she stands still, then stop. Good, you're fine. Keep doing this again. And then once she stands like him for this, then I would lift it up and just flop it on her and just keep doing this till she stands. She'll, she'll go back to standing really quick because she's not dumb. She's just trying to see if she can get away with moving when you go to saddle her. Same thing on this side. If you can lift it up, make sure you can move it around and it doesn't bother them. If he were moving, I would keep doing it till they stand still and then reward them. And then same thing with flipping it on, on and off her. Anything that they're nervous of, so if you were working with, with her with a bag or um, anything else, you, it's the same concept. So if you, if you reach up to pet her and she jumps, keep doing this till she stands still and then pet her. Same thing, like I do all this stuff. He's had this his whole life, so 
none of this freaks them out, but anything that kind of makes them act alarmed or they spook at or whatever, I just keep doing it um, until their feet are still. And then they start to learn, okay, if I keep my feet still, it goes away. And they start to learn not to run away from things and to think through it a little more. Um, but that's what I would start doing with her or literally just have someone hang on to her if she moves, stand, stand, and just kind of be firm with her because all that is just, it sounds like she's just kind of playing games. Same thing when you lead her. So if you're walking her around, um, I don't ever let them in. I make a little, uh, uh, um, if you took your stick and drew a little circle around you, that is your space as a dominant horse. So you don't ever want her coming into your space unless you go into hers. So like him, he's already kind of moving out of my space because I've established that with him. And when I walk, I want him up by my shoulder but not too close. So I'll bump him away if his head is too close to me because that's how you get stepped on. And then when I stop, he should stop. So when I turn and face him, he should be backing up. If not, I kind of tug and give him a spank. Same thing, I want him to walk, so turn. And he should back up like that with just a light wiggle. Um, Cause that, all that is just respect. If you do this with her every day, she's gonna start to respect you more. And then the saddle pad won't be as big of a deal, saddling, etc. And then don't forget the flexing. You can do it on the ground, good boy. And you're gonna pull their head around until they soften and then release. Once again, that releases their reward. Um, same thing when you get on them, you would do the same thing. You would flex them just like that both ways and then you'd walk off and start doing whatever you want to do so um, hopefully that helps if you have any questions let me know